Hey guys and welcome back to FIFA 22 Ajax Scrimmage. We're going to start the episode off here. In the last second I get to run a 16 game up against Manchester City. And in the last episode we faced them and lost 4-2 in a game. I feel like we didn't deserve to lose 3-2 but that's what we... 4-2 uh, sorry. Let's not waste any time, let's get into this. Let's see if we can pull off a dramatic comeback. Or Man City are going to advance to the next stage. Okay, so this is the team we're going to go with, our uh, full strength 11. And that's the team Man City are going to go with, uh, full strength 11 as well. Let's get into this one. I see Timber. Over the top head to Kudos. Kudos touch. Kudos over the top of Edison. And Kudos. Not a great goal. Puts his one goal ahead on the night, but one goal behind an aggregate still. Catch Man City in the counter attack, and that's what you can do against them. A great finish from Ahmed, from uh, Kudos. It's a great ball over the top from Berghaus. Good touch inside there. Edison comes out in a lift. Over Edison, just dips in time to go in. It's not what you want to see. Find out. Okay. And they're back. Two goals ahead and aggregate and level on the night. Bernardo Silva gets himself a, go gets himself a goal. I thought we could have stopped that attack. Quite easily to be honest, but that's well worked for City in the end. So yeah, Arland, De Bruyne, and then that slide I couldn't find out if I could get there in time. But Ronaldo Silva is ahead of his man. And puts it into the back of the net. Kudos now, Kudos, can he shoot and score again? Yes he can, no he can't. I thought that was a certain goal. Oh no, Vladimir's great save. Now let's have a whips it in, find out, get it clear. We've got the pace to run with this. The player who doesn't is Dusan Tadic, and that's going to be a yellow and possible injury to a City player. And they're going to go a feather ahead now. I think this tie's all but over. I said, I've, oh, all but over, but you know what I mean? Like, I think it's over. I think chances of us getting back into this one are very, very slim. Can I make some changes? Hopefully, they do something. But it looks like we're going to be going out of Champions League to Man City in the round of 16 stage. Which isn't, you know, it's not embarrassing, it's Man City. It just is where it is. Bergvine first time strike, Bergvine. Ah, oh, Foden's just done me there. Into Haaland, back into Foden. Of La Hardy, must quite save. Cross whooped in. Where is everyone? They could us now. Could us into Berkhaus. Berkhaus finally gets a shot away and puts it wide. Goes this great play by City, and that's another goal. Yeah, we're out. You know what, I'm just going to jump to the result. Let's move on with the episode. So, so we're out of the Champions League to Man City. It's not, uh, like I said earlier, it's not a bad team to go up to, to be honest. Round of 16, but it's not good enough yet. Next season, we'll be back stronger. Let's jump to the result. And move on with the episode. The final result ends up staying the same. And as I say, let's continue the episode. Okay, after that disappointing but expected result, we're going to sim this game with our, uh, against uh, Camber here with our second team. Hopefully they can pick a victory against the uh, lower, uh, lower table side. And the dude Deremi coming in shower and probably gets a goal. We're going to sim this game up against Feyenoord as you can see here with our first team because we're 21 points clear of them in the table. And we're clear at the top of the table as well. We pick up a 2-1 victory, Kudos gets us a win later on. And Berghaus gets a goal early on. We're going to sim this game here with the second team and hopefully pick up a uh, victory. And the result is going to be a 3 0 victory with Daland, Brobby, and Brobby gets a double. We're going to sim this game with the first team up against Sparta Rotterdam because our next game is the Orange Becker Cup final. And we get a 2 0 victory. Berghaus gets two goals. 
As you can see, we're going to take on Grun again in the Orange Backer Cup final, and we're going to go with our home kit because it is on our home stadium, it only makes sense. That's the team we're going to go with, and that's the team they're going to go with, so let's get into this one and hopefully pick up this uh, trophy so we can have a, a domestic double possibly this season. Back fine for that shot from range, it's blocked. Possible handball, yeah, here's a handball, and we'll get a free kick. Okay, Dusan Tadic is the free kick taker. That's Berghaus on his right foot. Okay, let's try and power that in there. Yellow tie and Berghaus off the crossbar. He's able to come forward. That's what I like about Kenneth Taylor, but Dusan Tadic is open here. The captain, not the best ball into him. Tadic inside, power strike, and it's just over. That's not what you want to see. This is really not what you see. Vlahodim also makes the save. Kudos over to Berghaus. Berghaus wasn't ready. That's such a poor goal. We didn't score. Now we need to defend this counter. Played on our side, which is great. Okay, here we go. Now my Kudos. Bergvine's open, but the shot's the pass is going to go behind him. So annoying. Kenneth Taylor. How are we not winning this game right now? Bassi, uh, how, how have you. F no, it's, uh, yeah, it's Bassi. How's he fell over there then? And how have we conceded? How have we gone one or done in this game? How does Batsy fall over there? Yeah, we've got given it, gifted a goal there. We deserved the goal. I read that perfectly. And Kudos gets himself a goal to put us back level. We deserve to be ahead. We're only a level somehow. Just haven't taken our chances in this game. We get lucky there. Keeper makes a mistake. And we're able to go level. You can see, just baited it there, run across. And we're putting it back in it. Did it in the United Chrome mode and do it again in this IX Chrome mode. Okay, Kudos now. Kudos, can we punish them again for making a mistake? Kudos. And we do. Second mistake they make and we capitalise. And it's Kudos again. Kudos is quickly becoming a world class striker in a save. He started off on a good foot in our first episode and in the season finale and in the last episode. He's been showing that form. It's a great finish from Kudos. We're back and we're ahead. I was going to say we're back ahead, but this is the first time I've been ahead in this fixture. It's a great challenge from Bassi. Find out you're in a cup final, lad. It's not a game to sleep in. Speaking of sleeping, and what just happened? Was that Bassi? What number is that? Is that Timber or Bassi? I can't tell, but we get lucky there. Better find out to Kenneth Taylor. Kenneth Taylor's been so good this season. What do we have to Kudos? Kudos! And it's somehow gone over. Can I select my centre backs? Okay. Oh, Vlahodimos, what a save. We get this clear, lads. And we don't, but Vlahodimos again. Get that clear. Keep her casting out. Who's up front? It's Kudos. Keep her casting. Gonna have to slow down here, lad. Overlap and run. Ah, I can't find it. Now we're gonna have to go all the way back. Find out's come forward. Find out cross into the box. Kudos. Can't get to it. And now Alvarez. Poor touch from Tadic. Taylor, you okay, lad? Okay, you're coming with the ball in the end. That's all that matters. Bergvine. Bergvine from here, and it's somehow crept in. I'll take it. I, I took the shot because I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll probably get a corner from this, so it's going to get parried into the box, and there's someone's there to get it. I didn't expect to go. We beat the high press. Bergvine from a very tight angle. 
fires a shot towards goal, low driven. It goes in between the legs of the keeper. And late on here with a secure victory, it seems like. 3 1 up late on. And hopefully that's enough to secure this title. That's great interception, and that's a victory. We win the Orange Becker. We may not have gone far in the Champions League. Not tight by Man City in the round of 16. But we win the Orange Becker. I dominate this game, a 3 1 uh, scoreline. Gotta say, the goals didn't come in the way we thought we would. They would have come. You know, the goals where we should have scored, we didn't. And the goals where we probably shouldn't have scored. As in, like the one at the end there mainly. But the two mistakes made by uh, Grondigan gave Kudus his goals. Keeper made a mistake, passed it straight to him. And then a uh, misplaced uh, pass, or, or was it a misplaced touch? Can't remember which one it was. From a, a mistake from an outfielder, Kudus went on the run and scored. And Dusan Tadic. He might not be here for season two. So it's good for him and this season to get to lift at least one trophy. We win the Orange Becker. It's a very, very bland trophy when you think about it. But it's a very prestigious trophy, I imagine, over in uh, uh, Netherlands. So I'm glad to win it. Uh, let's carry on with this episode and see if we can do the domestic double. And retain and take the Eredivisie title. As you can see, we're seeing this game here up against uh, this team. And Bert Carr's got the only goal in the game in the 40th minute. Give it as a 1 0 victory. We're going to send this game with the second team up against Swall here. And hopefully, we pick up a victory. I pick up a 2 2 draw. I take it. Brobby and Collier getting a goal. I'd love to see that from the young Belgian. As you can see, we're seeing this game up against AZ Atomar. And Bert Carr gets a double in the game, which gives us a 2 0 victory. And that guarantees the title, and it was pretty much guaranteed to be fair. But let's get into our next game, which is at home, where we'll see the title celebrations. And so, I come out to this game against Helen I just mentioned our final home game of the season. But we're going to see the title celebration, we're going to visual some of the game. And I'll just show you when the goals are scored, and then we'll get to the title celebrations. We have a build up play here. Playing it into the box. We get it into Kudos, who puts his wind up. Counter again here. Kudos is in. Kudos for a second. Kudos. Can he shoot? No, he, he doesn't. Play around the edge of the box. Back into Kudos and he gets his second. Love to see it. And Herd and Veen getting us off on goal here, unfortunately. Break out snout. Playing around the edge of the box here. Can we get a shot away? And Kudos gets himself a hat trick. One additional minute. Can we stop this here with Vindal? Yes, we can. Now, Vindal, there we go. We are champions at Area Vise. It's been very, very um, dominant season from us. We're still undefeated so far. We've got one more game left of the season, though, I believe. We're going to get the title celebrations here. Kudos gets a hat trick. Just something you love to see. Been a great season from him, great season from Berghaus. We're going to see the title celebration soon in a minute. We do the domestic double. We win the Eredivisie, the Orange Becker. We also didn't do well, that well in the Champions League. We kind of got unfortunate coming against Man City. Not really much we could have done in that um, aspect. But Decent had it to win his uh, lift his second trophy of the episode. The Eredivisie title. It's more of a uh, shield and a towel. You can see Vlahodimos, he's been great for us. Dusan Tadic, maybe his final season here at Ajax. Lifts the Eredivisie title and the Orange Becker. It's a great send off for him if we do Solomon next season. Something I might look to do, just to freshen up the team, bring in some more youngsters, and just rotate the team and bring it forward into the future. It's been a good player at the time this season, a very good versatile player. Could choose him down the centre, in like a CDM, not CDM, centre mid uh, cam position maybe. As you can see here, the lad celebrating with a tile in front of the fans. Unfortunately not in our home stadium, that would have been nice. No, it is in our home stadium actually, what I'm in about. We're in the Johan Cruyff Arena. As you can see here, it's a great celebration. 
great um, great season and we'll hopefully do the same again next season now it's time for the uh, team photo and we'll let this play out and then we'll get into the rest of the episode and show you the team stats and wrap up the season I just think we've got one more left uh, game left of the season here it's an away game against Vitesse which is going to sim and we'll pick up a 1-0 victory Kudos gets himself another goal love to see it and as you can see we go undefeated in the Eredivisie I don't know if this has ever happened in the Eredivisie never heard of a team going undefeated over there something that you would hear about you imagine as you can see best defence in the league best goals scored been a quite a dominant season we finished 22 points out of, uh, up against uh, PSV Next is we look to win the league again. We also won also the Orange Becker early in the episode up against Groningen. But unfortunately, we crashed out in the uh, Champions League to the team in the final Man City. The final's not been played yet, but as you can see in the round of 16. Got beaten 7 3 in aggregate by them. But as you can see, due to other fixtures, we're not the only team to get beaten by um, a large margin. But next season, we're going to come back stronger and hopefully get a luckier draw, maybe win our group stage. And uh, yeah, see how far we go next season. We're going to get into the player stats now and see how the uh, players did at, uh, at the end of the season. First of all, I'm going to go through uh, in the league. As you can see, we had three top scorers. We had the Kudos on 17 and 20. We had a Brobby with 15 and 18 as a backup striker. That is insane. We got Berghaus in 14 and 28, but Van Ginkel. We had no idea he played striker, but apparently he does now. Uh, we got 22 and 33 for PSV. In terms of assists, uh, Berghaus was one behind of um, Utrecht's Dovikas got the top with eight. In terms of clean sheets, uh, Vlaho Dimas is over seven. And in other competitions, Orange Becker. Let's go back here to uh, top uh, goals. I just need Berghaus with the most assists. And Kudos and Bergevin, the top two there with Klaassen behind them. Check out the Champions League in a minute. As you can see, Diaz is currently top with Grealish behind him. We don't have uh, anyone there. We have Bergevin all the way down there with five. And then assists, we have Berghaus there with three. Now oh, in terms of individual stats, we're going to get in this to the same. Most goals scored is Kudos with 25 and 6. He's been insane at centre forward. I literally only moved him there due to that one game that they played against uh, Rangers in the first uh, Champions League game. That's the reason why I moved him there. You can see Berghaus behind him, incredible season. Probably had an incredible season and Birchvine again. He has sort of slid down, but he has had a pretty good season. With the likes of Kenneth Taylor do well. David Clarsen do alright. Uh, Doremi, I uh, want a bit more from him next season. We're going to use him more in played games. Coming Shaw, the same with him. He might be starting next season. Instead of Dusan Tadic on the right hand side, and we saw Tadic and bring up a backup, uh, bringing a backup uh, right winger or a promoter youth can play that we have a bunch of. And Dallas with four goals from centre back. That was incredible for him. He's been a great signing. Got a plus four. And uh, yeah. Now, uh, most clean sheets. I forgot about that one actually. Most clean sheets actually. Vlahodi, I saw once a goalkeeper's up there. With 10, along with Timber, Vitendal, Berghaus, Kudos, and Bergevin. Okay, well, that's going to call it for this episode. It's just the season finale, and uh, season 2 will be getting quite soon. As I'm really enjoying uh, playing this series, going to have a, a couple of changes next season in terms of silence. I'm going to make on some sales just to freshen up the team and keep with the Ajax, um, keep with the Ajax uh, mentality. But um, one thing I need to ask real quickly is whether you think we should sell players like Yuri and Timber. Spend it with a move away to Manchester United, or we should keep him for the season. Same with Wrench, some of the likes of Edson Alvarez, some players who are in a high demand this season. Do you reckon we should sell them in the series and bring through like replacements, or whether we should keep them and just uh, build them in the uh, Chrome and build a great team? That's one thing I want to ask. But, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, check out the other content on my channel. I'll see you guys at the start of season two, which will be tomorrow when I upload this or the next day after. Thank you for watching and goodbye.